Welcome to Guilty Pleasure Movie Confessions, a place of healing and acceptance where we can find out that we are not alone and that movies that everybody else hates, we kind of like in some form or another. All good energy, feel the flow. All energy, all good things. Mm -hmm. Gotta harness in the good energy, block out the bad. Harness, energy, block, bad. Mm -hmm. Feel the flow happy. Feel it. Yeah, all right. Well, great. Thanks a lot. Nice to meet you, man. Psycho. But I can't do this alone, so I've got two of my friends with me. I have the clumsy toaster and Romero from Romero's Movie News. Hey, guys. Hello. <coughs> uh, my, my, name, my name's Grayson, and, and uh, I'm, like a, I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's you're in the, the looking the for the room down the hole. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, I'm in, I'm in the wrong, I'm in the wrong video. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Okay, bye. Yeah, I thought this was where you registered to be a sex offender, but that's cool. We can talk about. Uh, oh good, yeah, I could do that one. Well. Yeah. <laughs> I was told there would be hors d'oeuvres. There are no hors d'oeuvres. There's crystal in a blanket and some po lobster, like some freaking lollipop sticks here that have absorbed some flavor, but there's nothing else. There's punch and pie. Punch and pie. <laughs> PP, got it. Well, guys, I look around this room and I see a lot of courage. Because <laughs> it takes courage to admit that we love a movie that everyone else hates. Who wants to go first? <laughs> just go to the cave. Go to the cave and just find your power animal. And just <sighs> come back with the strength. Slide. <laughs> okay, I think I'm ready. You want to start, Romero? Spirit of a dolphin. Here we go. My name's Romero. Movie news. Hi, Romero. Hello, hello. And um, oh, I've been holding this for such a long time, but I think I can finally admit I like Battleship. Really, you like Battleship? What? What could you possibly like about it? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, and then everybody can make fun of it. You know, all these jokes and puns, but I liked it. And funny thing is, I started off actually really hating it. Like, I was ranting about the trailer, and I was ranting about... Hey, I wonder about why. How, like, all this, <laughs> all this stuff that just looked terrible from the movie, like the fact that a board game with such a simple concept was being turned into this huge blockbuster was mind-boggling to me to the point where i just i almost like felt like i was gonna die of an aneurysm just thinking about it but i went to go watch it with my uh father on father's day and lo and behold i walked out actually very much enjoying it perhaps enjoying it more than anything else that has been either made from paramount <coughs> transformers <coughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> You but, know what? It's I I kind of agree with you in a sense because it's like it didn't feel like a bad movie, but it felt like if it was made in the '90s, it would have been okay because it yeah. did kind of have like an Independence Day feel about it. All movies have that feel today. Even <laughs> yeah, I, I'd like to throw something in, but I didn't actually see it because I'm not an insane person. But please continue. Thank you. That's why we're here in this meeting. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, no, I watched Battleship and I liked it. And I think the fact is if it, the movie hadn't been called Battleship mm. and it had been called something else like, I don't know, Battlefield Underwater or something, I don't know, something stupid with the word water in it, people would have actually been more open-minded to see it and it probably wouldn't have gotten all the hate that it did. Well, they did have that Battleship scene of where they were like, they had like the mines in a grid and they're like D12 and they're like shooting missiles. Yeah, like D12. The mines. Yeah. So there but was nobody's that. ever gonna. Uh, yeah, I just people don't people give it such a bad rep and hate it so much, and it's actually more fun than any of the previous Transformers movies. You know, it's actually I find it more ex more I find it more enjoyable than Transformers two to four. You know, yeah, and that's saying a lot. That's a really low bar. <laughs> it is a very low bar. Not even James Cameron can raise that bar. I I remember in that like Taylor Kitsch at one point he's like. He's like, I've got a really bad feeling about this. And I'm like, yeah, good line. But, you know, maybe you should have said that like two scenes ago when it murdered like an alien murdered like 20 people on the ships. Or maybe five scenes ago when your brother was killed right in front of you. Or maybe a few scenes before that when the aliens first landed. Then maybe you could say I have a bad feeling about this. But if you say that now, 
when we're halfway in the movie and there's already been so much destruction around you, kind of doesn't work, Taylor Kitsch. <laughs> but he went to get a chicken burrito for his future love interest. A chicken burrito. He broke into the Hawaiian version of a 7-Eleven and got a chicken burrito. That's so romantic. <laughs> That's the ultimate love gesture. It is. A microwaved burrito from a 7-Eleven. That's... He, he beat up that Japanese guy in the bathroom. Racist. I know. Beat him up and then like... Did he beat him up because he was Japanese or did he just happen to be Japanese after he beat him up? No, nah, because he, he lost playing softball against them. So he beat up the Japanese guy. In the He's like, how oh, dare you be better at a sport than me, you bomb, pearl bombing bastard. <laughs> oh, I hate you so much. I'm going to beat think? the crap out of you with my box off and po my poisonous box off his fist. Hiya! Liam Neeson in Battleship did not say, you sunk my Battleship. That mother f I know! <laughs> what kind of movie do you have called Battleship, and not once does no one say, you sunk my Battleship? Yeah. That is some misleading crap. That I love have, That would have saved the whole movie if they had no, Liam Neeson no, say that. that. Be, that and was, he was that, the general. It would have, he, he could have just saw one and said, you and sunk here's my thing. Battleship! Here's the thing, in the teaser trailer, when the aliens are coming down, and then he's like, he goes like, uh, he, uh, Liam Neeson tells the dude, like, uh, get the weapons ready. Uh, get the, uh, sorry, slip of the tongue. Uh, get, the, get the weapons ready. And then the guy's like, which ones, sir? All of them. And then he, and here's the thing. He doesn't say that in the movie. Really? Oh, he that's such a badass that. line, though. And I thought that was a badass line. Prepare to fire. Yeah. Sir, which weapons? All of them. But either way, Battleship, I liked it. I thought it was fun. A good popcorn flick. It's one that I am not ashamed to say that I own on DVD and like watching it and popping in just like for fun. <laughs> and then something happened. I let go. That's really good. Lost in oblivion. Dark and silent and complete. Yeah. Well, I'll go next and. <sighs> I've okay, never man. admitted this okay. before. It's really hard, but okay, I man. actually kind of liked Battlefield Los Angeles. <laughs> out of here. <laughs> oh, no. I hate you. And I live in Los Angeles, and I wouldn't even want to be invaded by aliens that terrible. <laughs> that's like, that's Hang super on, bad. Let me explain. Let me explain. It was like, I first of all, I like Aaron Eckhart, you know, Harvey Dent. He's always yeah. cool. Like, even if he's in a terrible movie, he's always the best part Unless of it's I, Frankenstein. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen that. Okay, maybe I'm wrong on that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, most of the time, he's a good actor. You know what? I'm, I'm just really sick of movies where, like, the aliens invade. It's like Independence Day again, where they're just so overpowerful or, like, War, War of the Worlds, and we've just got no hope whatsoever. I thought it was kind of interesting to see like aliens and humans battle and they're more sort of like on an even footing. Like I can't really think of any other movies that's done that before. So it was like Black Hawk Down with Aliens, which was kind of cool. The aliens were pathetic. <laughs> I suppose they're they like were, they look yeah. they look like they look like uh, ET meshed with that weird white robot from iRobot and they just morphed them together and made these weird anorexic aliens. For some odd reason, they used bullets for their guns instead of, like, plasma or something. Like, what kind of alien yeah, race sorry. just comes to her and be like, hey, what's a good idea? But, Let's but you also got to, have bullets. you got to see a bit of strategy sort of stuff, like, on the ground level, rather than them just, they're sending their ray in, and it's going to kill us, run! Call in the Air Force. You actually got to see, you know, them trying to outflank each other and stuff like that. And the bit at the end where they were, like, trying to shoot down the mothership, and it was, like, moving its drones in the way to block the missiles. I was like, oh, that's cool, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Plus, it used you know. something that we have never seen in any other alien invasion movie, which is the aliens want water. <laughs> Yeah, it's no. every, yeah, that's the that's it. Yeah, and, that's the and it never makes sense. It never makes sense because there are <laughs> dozens of planets out there that we know of that yeah. have water. Why don't they just go to the one that isn't populated I, by a species that yeah, will probably yeah. try to kill I you? Think, Pluto, Pluto I think it made more sense in this giant... one because yeah. they said that water is like their petrol. It was like if we found a, a planet that just had huge oceans of like petroleum that we could just go and just put straight into our cars. 
you know, whatever aliens are there are going to get wiped out because we're going to want that petroleum. That's pretty much what this was because they said um, Earth's the only planet that has um, water, but in a liquid form in vast quantities. So I was like, oh, cool. But then the alien should probably land like in the middle of the ocean where there's like yeah. nobody around for like a bajillion miles and just that's take all the water. But instead they decided <laughs> to attack Los Angeles. But anyway, well, that's, that's my confession. I didn't think it was terrible. You know what that director for Battle A went to go on to do? What? Teenage Mutant turtles that's what he went to go do next he directed <laughs> battle la then wrath of the titans then my worst the most hated movie of my life teenage mutant ninja turtles i thought you knew me better than that <laughs> i thought we were friends and you'll go and like in a movie who cares if they want our water just go pluto that's not even a that's basically like one giant ice cube battle la is the worst piece of tribe <laughs> to ever come out of somebody's a-hole and then into the big screen <laughs> Battle, yeah, yeah. Uh, Battle LA makes me wish to never be invaded by aliens that stupid. <laughs> Ever. Like, hey, we are come from another planet. We're going to kill you for your water. I mean, what president in their mind, right mind would be like, hey, just take the water. Go ahead. Just take it. What, well, why did the aliens in Battleship attack Earth? Uh, because they wanted to use the <laughs> you. Don't you trick me. <laughs> Sharks are swimming in my head. Don't you? They wanted me? the water, was it? They wanted water. No, as well. they wanted to to signal their planet, so they were going to use one of our satellites to send a message to their home world to come invade uh, Earth to use up all their resources. Shit, it's the same. <laughs> now repeat after me: Goose Fraba, Goose Fraba. Slower. Goose Fraba. How do you feel? Better. <laughs> Good job, Nate. Well, Clumsy oh, Toaster, what do you got? Uh, okay, uh, I actually have multiple you. movies. Oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> I thought you were mentioning it. I reacted early. I thought you were about to mention okay. it. Sorry. I have multiple movies for my first movie thing. They are... The I first two you. mummy movies. Ah, oh, uh, what? What? Okay, so what? I think we all know. <laughs> I love how we just immediately abandoned the accepting people thing. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, yeah. Accepting. Like, what? <laughs> what? That's not okay. You know what? Okay. Fine, you're accept yeah. I'm accepting. We all know that the uh, that the mummy movies are basically just Indiana Jones like reskins basically yeah it's just much. it's just like what if we took indiana jones made him even more american somehow and then threw him in egypt with a bunch of racial stereotypes that's somehow more racist than temple of doom yeah and have and have him be played by george of the jungle <laughs> yeah yeah that's even weirder Dude, didn't it's they have really that weird. scene where it's like they have a big shootout on the uh, on the boat or something and like I don't even all the Americans mean. immediately jump behind barrels and start shooting, and they're like, "Yeah, yeah, just going crazy." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. The and then British one of the, the British guys like, just like Americans. Americans. <laughs> Americans. It's yeah, no, it's 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 ridiculous. I can see, I can see why that'd be like a guilty pleasure because it basically is just a reskin of Indiana Jones. So at least it's. It's imitating something much better. Like, is that why you like it? Because it reminds you of Indiana Jones? Yeah, yeah, sort of. Because it was like the first Indiana Jones movie since, um, since... Kingdom of the Crystal Skull? Yeah, yeah, since Kingdom <laughs> of the Crystal Skull. Yeah, they went back in time and yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, it's somehow even more of an Indiana Jones movie more than that. And it's just, it's just, I don't know. There's just so there's just it's just got such a charming quality to it. It's such an action adventure, you know. It's the same reason I really love Van Helsing, even though Van Helsing is terrible. It's because it's just you're going on a fun ride. Like this is a blank character that has no personality whatsoever, and all we're here to do is to shoot stuff, blow stuff up, and it's a fun time. How Michael Bay approaches every movie, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, except he's just do it. The Michael Bay defense. No, the that's Michael cool. Bay yeah, I, I got no problem with that, but. Yeah. I'm surprised that um, you didn't mention the third one. Are you counting the third one or not? Yeah. Oh, you gonna... no, no, the third one doesn't count at all. I count Van Helsing as the third Mummy movie because really? it's the one that actually feels... <laughs> no, no. The third one is just it. like it's just like Jet Li. Uh, the, he's, poor man's Bru he's... the poor man's Bruce Lee, by the way. That's yeah. what Jet Li is. <laughs> and it's just like... It's Jet just Li's like, amazing, dude. 
He's yeah, like but this movie was terrible. That's actually good. So he was so terrible in that movie. Like, I'm I'm an Asian guy from the dead, but you know what would be better if I become a dragon? <laughs> no, but here's the thing: you could kill anyone. You if you were a dragon, you could kill literally anyone you want, and he can turn into a dragon at will. And he only does it that one time in the movie. He only does it that one single dragon. time. And yeah. then he never does it ever again, even when he's, like, about to die. Like, if you could turn into a dragon and you were about to die, I, I'd probably turn into a dragon, you know? So I could yeah. save myself, but no, because Jet Li's an idiot. <laughs> well, <laughs> didn't didn't like... Brendan Fraser have, like, a Shia LaBeouf-type son in that movie? Uh, yeah, 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 it was really weird. Yeah, no, t- especially because, like, yeah, I think they were trying to do, like, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull sort of stuff. But yeah. it's really weird, because the kid was British in the second movie, and then he's just oddly... American yeah. for some reason. He just yeah. becomes American. Even though he's get... like raised, his mom's British and he grows up in England, he's still yeah, like he super just, American. He just... or... The first two mummy movies are just, they're just, they're so fun. It, and then, oh yeah, but then I almost forgot, I almost forgot, I did almost didn't mention it at all. The second one, the horrible, the horrible CGI with The Rock, uh, the rock where he yeah, comes out looking like a rubber, like in blow up doll i've seen yeah. better cgi in the cabbage patch kids yeah with the scorpion king and i just i can't take it seriously because like he is lobster claws <laughs> i don't care if he's a scorpion but he has it's the rock with lobster claws and it they, is so ridiculous i can't even can't even i'm done i'm done i'm done they made done. a prequel movie for the rock in that yeah, oh, he doesn't did, even turn into a weird. scorpion at the end <laughs> Yeah, that yeah. was kind of a ripoff. Why call someone the Scorpion King and not have him become a scorpion? I hate you, movie. And then they made two, <laughs> yeah. then they made two sequels with, with Ron Perlman and Billy Zane, yeah, direct to DVD. Oh, dear. I love you, Dad. I love you, too, son. <laughs> so, Ramiro, what's, yes. what's your next pick, man? Uh, my next pick is a Marvel movie that is... Hardly ever spoken of because hardly anybody wants to remember it. And that is... Okay, I'm going to cry. <laughs> Hold it in. Hold it together. Ang Lee's Hulk. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, before he won Best Director for Life of Pi, Ang Lee directed a Hulk movie. You know what? And I, I like have, it. I actually really like that movie, too. <laughs> I like it. I mean, how I do you really not like... I really like Hulk. Radioactive dogs, man. <laughs> Radioactive yeah, fights a, a, a giant poodle. A poodle the size of a god dang RV bites Hulk in the dick. <laughs> My right favorite part is that the, the, the right, final does, boss. Yeah. It, for the final boss, it's just Hulk's dad turns into like a fart cloud for some reason <laughs> and then just <laughs> explodes. <laughs> Is <laughs> is uh, what McCall's his dad is Elemental Man in that movie? That's yeah, a Marvel yeah, movie. yeah, that's yeah. Right. But he oh just no, looks uh, like Absorb a giant Man, fart Absorb cloud. Man. Yeah, Absorb Man. There we go, dude. You know uh, what? All all the actors in that movie were just head and shoulders above the Incredible Hulk, which was not that incredible. <laughs> the Incredible Edward Hulk North. sucks. The whole movie is him just going to New York to get a blood test, and that's I don't it. even. I don't. At I don't least even in mind Hulk, that one. there's like a real story going. I get why people don't like it. Because it's called the Hulk and he doesn't start smashing stuff until the end. But when he I does, that's really something. awesome. It's really cool. It's the really Hulk awesome. I looks love, fantastic. I, I love, love the look of the Hulk. My favorite scene in that movie is the dog scene. Like, yeah. I <laughs> live for that scene because I'm like, like radioactive Pluto. Look at it. It's biting <laughs> oh, see, him in the wang. It's biting my him favorite in, his scene. Jolly, in his jolly green <laughs> dick. Look at it. His <laughs> giant jaw. He's just like, and then he just grabs it and throws it against a redwood tree. By the way, what kind of superhero fight takes place in a forest at night? It's like he's just fighting these dogs, and out of nowhere, the event, like Iron Man and Thor, just fly in to the woods too. Yeah. From the Avengers, and like, hey, what is that? I like oh, that kind Jesus. of. Hug. I pref- I prefer the Hulk that looks like the Roid Rage. Kind of Hulk, rather than that, that's like the one Mark that I like. Great, but his Hulk just looks like a bigger dude who's a bit more muscular. But like you look at Hulk, Hulk, like Eric Banner's Hulk, he was cut to shreds. That dude, and I was oh, like, the, yeah, the, and he actually grew bigger as he got angrier. That, that's the thing about uh, that I liked about Ang Lee's Hulk movie was that he tried to make it feel like you were reading a comic. 
because he was always having those comic. Uh, oh, that's the effects. that's the worst part of that movie. I love <laughs> that. I love that. Disgusting. I can't handle. Yeah, I can't handle all bad. the panels. I like. No, there's a I like the there's a really great there's a really great scene where like a character dies in an explosion. Yeah. And what happens is he's like, <laughs> he, he realizes that there's gonna be explosion, and he's like. Oh no! And then he turns and runs away, and then the explosion <laughs> happens, and we zoom out, and it like freeze frames of him like green screen in front of an explosion, and he has like a He's white like, outline around him, yeah. and then the white outline falls down, but the explosion's there, so it looks he just basically just pops off the screen and is like whoops, and then he falls down. You can yeah, add some sad trombone music. He shoots the grenade so at the Hulk, bad. it bounces off him, hits behind him, and this cartoon explosion. <laughs> it makes no. It oh, makes no. So long, big boy. I like that. I, I like the I like the effect in the movie though that they're shooting him and the fact that the bullets are bouncing off him, but the bullets are making him str- like grow bigger. Yeah, that like, was good. That was like good. that was a good effect. Like even the dog, I think there was a scene with the dog where one of the dogs is biting him in the shoulder. Mm. So he just concentrates all his power, oh, like all his yeah. uh, growing power, to grow that part of his body out to break the jaw of the dog. Dude, that was like, so cool. That was so sick. Like the fact that he was able to concentrate all his growing power on one part of his body yeah. is insane. And But still, Poodle biting his yeah, dog. Yeah, except for that one scene where he's like running and he's got those little tiny legs. You remember that when he's running in the desert? And he's, <laughs> oh, like, that's that's awesome. he's got like that tiny legs. It yeah. doesn't make any he sense. He looked like a flea I, oh, sort of jumping. He's like he's like not even touching the ground. He's just like running in the air like a cartoon character, like ah, running, 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 jump, running. Actually, you know what else, Ramiro? When he attacks Uh the tank, there's a bit where he rips rips the tank off and he knackers himself on the gun barrel. Oh yeah. I like the, the fact that he junk takes off pops a lot of he, a lot of thrashing in that movie. I know, and like I like the fact he rips the tank, uh, the ju- the tank's uh, shoot whatever the missile shooter yeah. off of it, and then he carries it around like a bat. And he yeah, starts like and where he goes up to that tank and he's like, ah, 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 and he just starts he, smashing it. Oh, it's so good! It is such a, just seeing that that version of the Hulk is the Hulk that I would like in the Avengers. Like yeah. I don't and mind he, Mark Ruffalo. I don't like. I, I don't mind R- Mark Ruffalo. I think he's the best Bruce Banner, and I like his Hulk. Mm. But mm. I want a Hulk like, like yeah. the Hulk in the in the Avengers. He's he's not that big. Like the one from Ang Lee is the one that I wanted. Like a yeah. huge giant, like larger than life creature. And I like how they wove in the bit of like the duality of that the Hulk actually hates Bruce Banner, that he yeah. despises. You know the bit where the fist well, breaks through well, yeah, the mirror. Yeah, it, in the oh, angle, that was yeah. great. He's like puny man, puny man, and he pulls him through. I think yeah. it's the idea that the Hulk kind of he doesn't hate him, but he's kind of like he kind of wants to take over. Like he just let me, let, just let me take over. Mm. Like I don't, I don't want to be caged in anymore. I want to be let loose. Yeah, and but I, I did, I did like the character development too. Of like you actually like we always know that Bruce Banner's got this rage inside him yeah. and but like it's never really explained with like any of the other hulks but with like at least with that Bruce Bruce Eric Banner it's weird huh. that his last name was Banner as well but with Eric <laughs> Banner at least with his his Bruce Banner you get to see where that rage comes from cuz he has an alcoholic abusive father so there's Big like a reason for it life. to be there you know, except it doesn't make any sense at all because there's this whole thing where the like there's no fight. The 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 way that Hulk wins really just relies on ah this Hulk power was too much and you can't absorb it, so now you're a fart cloud and you explode. But the whole thing is like no, d- no, isn't the that's whole reason it. isn't the whole reason that Hulk can uh, survives the whole gamma radiation and becomes the Hulk? Isn't that because his dad passed on like his yeah. uh, altered genetics? So if if you think about it, wouldn't Hulk's dad be able to handle the Hulk better than no, no, Bruce? No, no, because the, the point of that was, or at least how I interpret it, the point of it was he wants to absorb Hulk's power, right? But, but Hulk b- but Along Hulk with the power comes the source of all his anger, which is his agony and all that. So that's why yeah. when he was pumping it into him, he's like, take it back, ah! Because he was getting all the pain that to, Bruce Banner feels have- as well. Yeah, and then you kind of have to yeah. also take into fact that Hulk is gamma. He is, in an essence, walking gamma radiation. So, yeah, his father 
his father's power or his genetics were just to absorb matter. It mm. was never meant to absorb like uh, radiation or, or energy. Like we see, we do see a, a part in the movie where he does become like a thunderbolt. Mm. But even 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 a uh, lightning or thunder is matter to a degree. That yeah. Died. For, for okay. anyone who's okay. listening, it, go back and watch Hulk and look at it more from like more from a character perspective rather than hey, I'm Mark Ruffalo, I'm funny. It's like also, yeah, yeah, it's it's the darker Hulk. It's the it's that's more the one paranoid that, that, Hulk, the more broken Hulk. Like the that's Mark the Hulk Ruffalo. Hulk. Like. That, yeah, that's the Mark Ruffalo. Like Mark Ruffalo's Hulk is the best interpretation of the character I've seen. Mm. Uh, but I like Eric Banas too. Like yeah. I think his is pretty good. Plus, Poodle biting his dog. <laughs> like that poodle just <laughs> ravaging it. Like he's just like trying to rip it off his 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 his, his body. Like give me that green dick. Like, ah, it still it doesn't off. explain that scene where like Hulk's dad has a little bitch fit and just starts flailing his arms all across the screen while like rambling like a that's, madman. That was just Nick Nolte. He was just like that was like, funny. Yeah. I no, like that's, that just, that's just that's just Nick, Nick Nolte. Nolte. They that's weren't acting. Nolte. He just came he... onto set and he was really angry. Do you, you, know? do you mean that bit at the end where like Banner and his dad are talking? Yeah, and, like yeah, Nick Nolte like flips out and he sits back down. He's like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's because that was fantastic. That's I love that. It was hilarious. It's because... it was so funny. I I totally support you on that, Ramiro. I really like that Hulk movie. It is. It's a it's it's a fun, silly comic book movie. I understand why some people would hate it, but I just think it's fun. No, it's back to you. Go ahead. Don't cry. Well, I actually kind of liked Wolverine Origins. <laughs> <clears throat> excuse me, excuse me, one second. I have to, I have to call a hitman to assassinate you for having such a horrible opinion. If, I know, if you excuse I me, I'll be right back. No, no, I can't even. I'm, I'm, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. I'm, I'm, I'm out. And I'm the hitman. <laughs> He's leaving. He literally He's left. He's gone. You Well, I I know a lot of people hate it because it steps on the comics, but since I'm a and DC also fan, CGI claws. since I'm a DC fan, I couldn't care less about that. <laughs> <laughs> that that opening thing of him, that opening credits thing of him going through time, going through all the wars, really amazing. That the was fantastic. I love that. I love the whole good. dynamic between like him and Sabretooth. I love all the bits where he throws his arms up and goes. Aah! Because he does that a lot in that movie. Which is every other scene. Yeah. That, every that scene where he like looks up in the air and goes, Ah! ah! Oh, I love where he's naked always... and he jumps off the waterfall. Oh, no, wait. Uh, no, no, I didn't like that. <laughs> but yeah, I actually thought it was pretty good. God, I remember seeing the teaser trailer for that movie, I forget, in what when I was in theaters, and people were going crazy. But I think they were going more crazy over the fact that Gambit was going to finally be in a movie. Yeah, see, I didn't know yeah. who Gambit was, so I was like, whatever. <laughs> and uh okay all right okay i'm back i'm back uh sorry i just had to go um attempt to kill myself right there um <laughs> does bandit still like do you still like x-men origins wolverine or was i just was i just hallucinating that no it's like well i wouldn't say i liked it but i just didn't really see like i never really understood the level of hate it got cgi I, claws oh i did i did how did it, they look so bad they look are so not, bad they're, they're, they're not they're not so bad they are bad they're cgi claws and then freaking what's his face yeah, hang on a Jackman. second they're the worst hang on, but isn't that supposed to be like they were brand new claws so that's why they were supposed to look more shiny no, no but they're not, not even shiny. Shiny. they don't even look attached to his hands <laughs> they're like just he's just like in that bathroom scene he's just like moving his hands back and forth like yeah there's claws She's here like, whoa you didn't he's care lost. when the old lady got shot by the sniper? Well, no, that was before that. He's just like, whoa, I, I <laughs> you, you weren't you weren't fascinated by the backstory of how he got his his leather jacket? Oh, the backstory <laughs> oh was the, the backstory was the worst. No, the worst was how was when they're like, this is how he got the name Wolverine, and it's not because he was a badass in the military. It's because his girlfriend told him a story. Ah, and he he wanted to get that on his dog because he was sad. <laughs> also, this leather jacket's now mine, and the old guy's dead. So yay! I get it, and then he's, and I could just imagine him jumping out of that scene where the barn blows up, going like, "I got a free jacket, yeah!" 
and he's riding away in the motorcycle. Well, what just, about uh, like I, I like it when he's like he was fighting the blob guy. That was funny. That was stupid. <laughs> it's like it's that was such a retarded scene. Like like why don't you just stab the dude? You have unbreakable claws. <laughs> just stab him in the gut. Yeah, and he's like, t- perhaps killing you will get you to tell me what I want to know. Yeah, or I, perhaps I don't think so, offering no. <laughs> you a Twinkie. <laughs> right. Or perhaps much, putting yeah. Twinkies on my claws. Oh, 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 sell that. Okay, sell that. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, okay. Come on, come on. Something tell you should calm down. Right? Okay, I'm all right. Fun. Okay, I'm okay. Easy. Everything okay. Okay. All right. Get this jerk out of here. I'll give you a piece of. <laughs> I never really saw what the big deal is. I mean, <laughs> you never saw what the big deal. You never saw what the big deal. Okay, if you never saw what the big deal is, let's address the worst thing about that movie. Are you ready for no, it? No. Are you ready no, for it? We're no, talking about I'm it. Not ready We're talking it. about it. No. We're talking about it. No, but I'm not dead. Stop it. I kind of God damn it. Cool. We have no, to talk about it. We're talking happening. about it. Let's talk about how crappy Deadpool was in X Men Origins Wolverine. Only in the last scene. Everything else he did in the first was dead on. For Deadpool, pun intended. Yeah, no, that makes that makes it even worse. Like, could you imagine a, how about like he's like, going to be Deadpool thing. again? So it kind of no, been but that it's terrible. like it, it's like let's take the Phantom Menace. Let's imagine if Jar Jar Binks was like the coolest character ever for like the first three quarters of the film, and then at the very end he just turned into the rambly idiot that we know and despise. Like, could you imagine how much more of a slap to the face that would be? So, so That's what you're saying? I, so what yeah. you're saying? It would be like. Han Solo got frozen in carbonite, the coolest character ever, and then in Return of the Jedi, when they thaw him out, he's Jar Jar Binks. That's, <laughs> that's what it's like. That's what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Because that's the thing is, because I think Ryan Reynolds did a really good job as Deadpool in the beginning. Like, yeah. if oh, like they no wanted doubt. to say yeah. what did Deadpool look like before he was so out, he was yeah. so like he was so good. Like the thing where he cuts the bullet in half and he does all the cool stuff, and you're just like, it's okay. Bad guys I, are dead. Deadpool does use good? swords, right? Sure, he doesn't have them in his arms, but he does use swords. He does teleport. He does and have the puns. healing powers, right? And puns. Yeah. And, but and that, like, wasn't just... there an end credit scene where, like, um, his head gets yeah, cut yeah. off, but he can stick it back on? And he, like, cut his mouth his open His eyes again? open. His eyes open. No, no, no he just, it's just that his eyes open. Yeah, and the eyes and, open. But there's also, put, I think there was also goes, a second sh- version of that where the sword goes across his mouth and cuts his mouth open. And he goes, uh, I don't. Re- I don't remember. Oh, I don't think like that. that. I don't think that. But the deleted, the end credit scene is basically Deadpool. His body is moving through the rubble. Yeah. It grabs his. It grabs his head, and then his eyes open, and then he just looks at the screen. And he goes, shh. Exactly. And goes, yeah. And I think so. That think in, my, so that implied to me that next movie he'd be Deadpool like we know him. And I hope. So I didn't. Dead- I was like, who cares? He'll he'll be. I can't back wait till they movie. make fun of that movie in Deadpool. Like Ryan Reynolds is just like, hello, welcome to the Deadpool movie. No, not that movie. Not that movie. Not that movie. No, stop it. Stop it. Hey, my producer <laughs> said that you wouldn't show this stupid movie ever again. But that I that know. film that film was undeniably terrible, considering it is. No, it, it was completely it wiped bad. from canon. It was completely wiped from canon, and I don't even mean because of Days of Future Past. It was non-canon before they did the whole time thing, yeah, but dude, because everyone was just like, that movie's horrible, let's not do that. But dude, we've they only really them. had two good X-Men movies, like, ever. So, it doesn't really matter, does it? <laughs> did you say X-Men 3? No, I said 3. He said there were only two X-Men movies. No, I said oh, okay. we've, we've only really had two three. good no, X-Men four. movies like, ever. No, get the hell four out of here. Good. Four good X Men no, movies. We had X Men okay, One and I, Two. I would say yeah, we had first three. Class, we had first one, class and we had Apocalypse X-Men are the only X2, good ones. All the others and first suck. class. Yeah, first I class said and it. Days of Future Past. Yeah, I would say even X Men Three is better than X Men Origins. No, that is the worst. Don't, that is the worst. Or, Wolver- at Origins away. Wolverine is the worst. No, of all of them. Come on, it's They're not that bad. They're both terrible. They're both equally terrible. They are both terrible. No, but I'm saying X X Men Origins is worse. If if Ryan Reynolds was playing a different character, you would have nothing negative to say about that movie. Ryan Reynolds is the perfect Deadpool. Yeah, for the oh no, I would have lots. I said a bunch of negative stuff earlier before we brought up Deadpool. It's a bad movie. It's such a bad movie. Yeah, no, okay, but I'm not. I'm not trying to say that X Men Three is good. I'm just saying that they're both horrible. But like X Men Three is better, kind of in the same way that being hit with a car. (laughs) Is worse than being hit in the face with a brick. Like I don't want, I don't want either. But it, I want to be hit in the face with a brick more than I do a car because then I'm dead. So yeah, X Men Origins is a car. 
That's mm. what it is. It's a car that hit me in the face, and now I'm dead. Movie and sucks. And it's, and it's being driven by Hugh Jackman, and he's singing with uh, Russell Crowe. My name's Jovert. Boom! Oh, and that's, then that's yeah, but you know is. what? You know what? It, you, you can say it's a terrible movie, but it didn't kill Wolverine in the X-Men movies. It didn't kill Dead Man, uh, Deadpool. Dead We're getting Man. a movie for him. Dead and it didn't, <laughs> it didn't kill Gambit either. We're going to get him in the future. So because how Channing terrible Kate... could it have really well, been? Because it didn't they're rebooting all the characters. Wolverine, the Wolverine movie rebooted Wolverine. X-Men Days of the Future Past basically hit the restart button so the, the last two movies don't exist. And Dude, we're I, getting, I would say, and I we're would getting, say that and we're getting the a Wolverine new Gambit. is worse than Wolverine Origins. No, Wolverine is actually good. The it's, Wolverine is the good. The Wolverine, I reckon that's worse than X, than Origins. No. Way worse. No. Origins. Way, no. way worse. Okay, so I have some problems worse. with with just the Wolverine, but there, it is on no way near a level near how bad X Men Origins Wolverine was. The Wolverine, not not that great. It's like ah, he's a he's a robot and he can suck out your immortality through it your claws the exact or your your same bone claws. Story cause... as every other movie before it, <laughs> you know. But it's still At least better. Origins brought in new elements. What new elements? A big giant guy who's basically CGI and his head is just the only real thing on him? Here, my name's Tex and whatever. And yeah, I'm yeah, you're right. X-Men Origin. And X-Men my entire Origin. Body. No, wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up, Romero, hold up. He's right. X-Men Origins did bring in some new elements <laughs> and then proceeded to ruin them all. That movie's terrible. You're wrong. <laughs> Goodbye. What about Sabretooth? He was good. Shut up. It has Will I Am. Your all right, point fine, fine. It has <laughs> yeah, Will I Am from the yeah. Black Eyed Peas. <laughs> X-Men Origins starring Will I Am and that guy from Lost. Yay. You okay with that? Huh? You accept? No. My last confession. God, I feel like I'm in church. <laughs> yes, Father O'Malley, I have one more confession. Your sins are forgiven. You know. Your, sin- <laughs> yes, your sins O'Malley. are forgiven, but your terrible taste in movies are not. Uh, that's what that's not what your wife said last night, Father O'Malley. Anyways, moving on. I don't know. That's a terrible... <laughs> I don't even know what kind of impression that is. I think it's Scottish or Irish. I give up. I thought Potatoes. you were doing Borat. So. Yeah. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> have that. I thought you were uh-huh. quoting a scene from that movie or something, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> uh, uh, my last uh, movie that uh, a lot of people hate that I actually do enjoy a lot is Dwayne Johnson's uh, Hercules movie. Not that other Hercules movie or whatever, Legend of Hercules with that douchebag from Twilight. This Hercules movie, the one with Dwayne Johnson, I with actually like it a lot. Yeah, The Rock. Yeah, like, uh, I've, heard, I've heard a lot of good stuff about that. I haven't seen it. This movie is good because it's a good old sword and sandals type movie. And he's like, my name is Hercules and I'm going to kill you with my giant wooden mallet. Blah. And then he's just like, I am Hercules and I've got my power back. And it's a really good movie. It's fun. Yeah. It's enjoyable. I don't get why people hate it so much and rag on it so much. Maybe, so maybe it's because <laughs> it has the same director as it's got Brett Ratner, who also did your favorite movie, X-Men 3. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I just I had a, I had a any, anytime anybody mentions that movie, I scream. <laughs> no, just say just say it, and I I start yelling like a, a little girl. X Men Three. Oh, ah! <laughs> bad touch. What happened? <laughs> Okay. Well, clumsy toaster, you wanna you wanna wrap it up with your final yeah. shame? Okay, we are taking. Okay, this is the worst. I'm I'm hoping the worst. yours is really terrible because I got a feeling like I'm so gonna cop the most hated the comments section. It's so bad. <laughs> I mean, no, actually, I might become worse hate because it's it's people like it because of nostalgia, but yeah. as a film, it is so friggin bad my my final film is the original 1995 feature length movie mighty morphin power rangers i haven't seen it actually so <laughs> okay it is 
It is the worst. It's so bad, and I love it so much. It is. It's like an abusive. It's like an abusive boyfriend, man. I just. I can't. Can't stop. Can't stop so going is, back. Is that what it is? You just like the pain it inflicts on you. Yeah, yeah. I just, I'm just <laughs> there for the pain. No, you like is, the way they shake their heads around to so that you know which one to. is actually talking when they're in the suits. Yeah, because there was originally Japanese audio. No, but this one was they actually filmed. By like Americans, like there's no Japanese footage because that's what the original film was. It was like let's take this this Japanese footage about like spirits in multicolored so, suits like fighting aliens, and then he or sells it to children, and then the children take it home, and then and then the parents get get home and they look at it and they're just like, and then they open it and then the parents touch the ooze and then the parents become mind controlled because they touched Ivan Ooze's ooze. So why did he want to mind control the kids? He didn't want to mind control the kids. The kids don't get mind control. The parents. Him? Yeah, why didn't he just like throw ooze on the parents and be like, ah, now you're oozed? Like he, like he became this sounds really like a complicated. carnival. <laughs> God, this movie's making my brain hurt. <laughs> you you, you <laughs> think it sounds complicated, but literally what I just described to you takes place over like a span of five minutes. Oh. <laughs> so, so then he goes to it's the Power delayed. Ranger it's base. It's like the Dark Knight yeah. of Power Rangers. Yeah. Uh. He go he goes over <laughs> to the, the Power Ranger base, Power and then he <laughs> makes he makes a bunch of jokes about pop culture references that he couldn't have known about since he was like stuck in a prison for ten thousand years, and he basically blows up Zordon. He blows up who is like a floating head, so, who is like you can save Zordon. So then they go they go back to this alien planet. Are you just they land there. Us the entire yeah, movie. Don't, don't tell us <laughs> no, 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 no. We're almost like, done. We're almost done. No, oh, we're <laughs> almost done. You've been talking done. like it sounds oh, like we're God. like five minutes in, and you've been explaining know, it for I'm, like twenty five like minutes. Already, I'm bored already. <laughs> we have to. Wanna... We have to. We have to go. Cause we have to. Since, I need to. We pee, have to. Man. So then they go. <laughs> she's just like a girl in a bikini. So like a girl in a bikini, just with like batons, is just like this leading is them. Fault. Yeah. You know what you've done. I <laughs> you know what you're not. <laughs> and then they and then they go off to like this temple. Okay. I blame and then you. They, He's not stopping. And then they and then they get their new they get their new things. And instead of dinosaurs, they become forest animals. So instead of being like a mastodon, hey, like uh, these new sp- Ramiro, you want to go spirit grab animal? A cup of coffee. Well, it's a <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, continue, Toaster. We'll would, just we'll just grab some coffee. Okay, I'm, we'll I'm seriously. And <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay time, time out, time out. Tio, Tio, I'm actually almost done. We're okay, just, like right. it's such a bare bones movie. Okay, I'm about to start again. You can just edit this out. Okay, and then and then so he's like, ah, I'm a frog, and then they're like, yep, deal with it, bitch. And then so then they go down to the forest to go. They go to they go to unlock the power, and then. Basically, what happens is they have to fight some bone dinosaurs, and so there are some dinosaurs that are bones, and they fight the dinosaurs, and then they like touch a touch a golden thing on a wall, and then they get powers, and they become the Power Rangers again, and then they become, and then they go back to Earth. Yeah, they go back to Earth, and then they get their shitty Megazord, and instead of being a guy in a suit, they do CG, but it's like really bad CG. Like CG wasn't perfected yet, CG, and then Ivan Ooze turns into like a robot because it turns out that he was mind controlling the uh, the parents so they could dig up like a robot dinosaur so he could merge with the robot dinosaur, and so then so then the uh, the uh, the Megazord fights fights the uh, giant uh, Ivan Ooze robot dinosaur, and then they they fly up into into space. And then they're like, ah, he's too strong. So then they're like, oh, look, it's a comet. It's a comet. So then basically what happens is they they, bl- they kill Ivan Ooze by pressing the red button. With the power of love. With the power of love. And then it's over. Guys? It, it, it's over. Gu- guys? X-Men 3?